Hello everybody and welcome to episode 37 of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. Last time we took on Misty and made it our way to Celadon. This time, we are fighting Erica, the nature-loving princess, and getting ourselves our fourth gym badge. Alright, let's go. Up first. Wow, this gym seems very similar. Or very familiar, I should say. We're going to protect Erica! <laughs> Twins Joe and Zoe. Sent out Vile Plume. Which is a poison type, which will be. We, well, one is a poison type, two is a grass type, so. Bye. Yeah, a spoiler for this area. Uh. Carmilla's gonna be soloing this place, basically. And Joe and Zoe have been defeated. We couldn't win. So why not? Let's give her. Let's give some uh, Darwin's me XP as well. Up here. Do you think a girls only gym is rare? I mean, out of all the Pokemon games, I think it's like the only one. So yes. Last Michelle wants to send out Skiploom. Oh, looks like I don't even need Psychic moves. <laughs> okay, I guess it's just... Oh, by the way, there's Shemplup. I guess they're just really squishy Pokemon. And that's the end of them. Oh, blah! That's one down. Oh, a battle? That's kind of scary, but okay. And another one bites the dust. Picnicker Tanya wants the battle. Picnicker Tanya sent out Executor. Well, I'm s sorry to say this, but... I like Executor. It's a cool Pokemon. Very tanky. Just for a Psychic type. But... <laughs> uh, weakness go burr. Oh, that's it! Were you looking at the flowers, or at me? No, I was looking at the flowers. Like the blue. Beauty Julia wants a battle. Set up Paris. I'm so sorry. And there goes Paris Act. Execute is dead. How annoying! Anywho. <laughs> Let's keep going. Let's go switch around our team so we actually have a full set. That is the wrong move. I did not thought that. Wrong thing. Here we are. Switch those there. Switch you there. I think that's good. Hello. Lovely weather. Isn't it? It's so pleasant. I'm afraid I may doze off. My name is Erica. I am the leader of Caledon City. Oh, all the way from Johto, you say? How nice! Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that you were wished to challenge me. Very well, but I shall not lose. And here's Erica, the leader of Sarak. Sel bah, Celadon City. <laughs> yes, Erica, the leader of Sarak Sel City. Anyway, first up is Tangela. Tangela has Vine Whip, Bind, Digger Green, and Slick Powder. From. I like Tangela a lot. If only it wasn't so rare. I already used you a lot earlier, but... Yeah. Anyway, it missed. So it eats another wing. Attack, and goes down. <laughs> and Bellossom's next. Which is her highest level Pokemon? Well, one of her two highest level ones. With Sunny Day, Synthesis, Petal Dance, and Solar Beam. A dangerous combo. What's good is that I am able to take her out before she can use Solar Beam and s or Sunny Day. Knew it. Sunny Day will boost all the, the, uh, the grass type moves, which make her a lot stronger. Sad to say this, though, but you're getting hit by Wing Attack again. That's Blossom down. Two more to go. 
And next is Jump Bluff. Which it has Mega Drain, Leech Seed, Cotton Spore, and Giga Drain. I don't think you need both uh, Drain moves, game. Because since you think it's about to die. Like, now. And that's a level for Camilla. Next up is Victory Bell. Also, fun fact. In the Pokemon Adventures manga, I know this going to sound weird, for some reason they chose four of the gym leaders to be evil and four of the gym leaders to be good. Of the good gym leaders, we fought, uh, there's Erica and Misty, and of the two we found so far, Koga, no not Koga, actually no, Koga, we met Koga already. Uh, Koga, uh, oh by the way, there's leftovers in action. Lieutenant Surge and Sabrina were all evil, along with Geo, uh, well, spoilers for Pokemon Red and Blue, Giovanni. All work for Team Rocket. I think it's just a weird detail from the manga. But anyway, there's Star on level 50, and Sabrina is down. Well, Erica. Darn it! Oh, I can see defeat. You are remarkably strong. I shall give you the Rainbow Badge. Ethan received the Rainbow Badge! Which is a pretty cool sounding badge name. That was a delightful match. I felt inspired. Please, I wish you to have this TM. It is Giga Drain. It's a wonderful move that drains half the damage it inflicts to heal your Pokemon. Please use it, if it pleases you. And one of the, fee the two Pokemon trainers, well, gym leaders, I actually give a TM. Mega we got Giga Drain. Which is the strongest drain move in the game. Losing leaves a bitter rap case, but knowing that there are strong trainers spurs me to do better. Anyway, let's keep moving on, shall we? Also, about as uh, you seen last episode, we'll deal with that later. But, for now, we have to deal with a certain... Uh, well, we have to go- well, actually, first, let's heal. I just realized this probably should- Also, I wonder if that tree that she- that's- that blocks the Celadon City Gym is actually planted by Erica. Or, like, maybe it's like a grass-type Pokemon creation. You know, she's just a grass-type Pokemon, it makes sense, and she'd want to keep people away. Mainly people that are like that old man. So it makes sense. Anyway, over here. If you cruise down Cycling Road, you will end up in Fuchsia City! Yes. What we're about to enter into is Route... This is still the Cycling Road. Downhill coasting all the way. Is... well... Full of bikers. You can also find Slugma here. Which is interesting. At mid... at... In daytime. You can actually find Slugma. I cannot find Slugma, to it being about uh, 9 o'clock at night. Cycling Road starts here. It's all downhill, so it's totally exhilarating. It's a great sort of feeling that you can't get from a ship or train. There's one thing I'm glad about in this game. Okay, never mind. I'm wrong. Oh, wait. Yes, they did change. No, no, they didn't. One thing about this place is that it's actually on a hill. Also, first trainer. Hey you! You're good from Johto, huh? And this guy is Barky Riley. He uses Weezing. A lot of these guys will be using the same Pokemon. A lot of Weezings, a lot of Coughings, and a lot of two of well, two other Pokemon. Ow! Whoa, you kick! Yeah, and you use you explode your Pokemon like a maniac. Let's switch in Duracell and Louisa. Actually, and Jerry. Might have to do a grinding session later just to get some, uh. T. like, um, EXP so we can catch up for the, uh. final guys. Hey, wanna have a speed battle? And Glenn wants to battle. Who's the next? Who's next up? And he sends up coughing. Because, of course. Hit him with a Thunderbolt. Explodes like a. Uh, if you remember, Gen Episode 2 of this 
anime. Finger up, sir. And here's the other Pokemon that I was talking about. Magmar! Fun fact, Magmar and Electabuzz have a sort of rivalry, so this is a pretty fitting battle. Problem is, I have a much stronger Electabuzz. <laughs> Wait, I just realized my mic was claps the entire time, so it's probably why I was very quiet these past episodes. Oops! Uh, <laughs> Anywho. Glenn sent out. Weezing. I actually really like the Weezing line. Yikes, you got awesome torque! Glad they, get, they got a uh, Galarian form. Over here. Wow, that's a cool bicycle! Slowly turning into Kiyasu. <laughs> and Joel wants a battle. Joel sent out Magmar. Let's just wipe them out because they're basically the same Pokemon. <laughs> Duracell's zap them out of existence. You don't just look cool. I am cool. I try to be, at least. Actually, no, I'm, I'm actually not cool at all. I'm a freaking nerd. <laughs> what am I talking about? We're fearless highway stars! But I'm gonna tell I'm a huge JoJo fan, so I'm resisting making a reference. Sorry. I know it has nothing to do with it, it has to do with the actual song or term. Still. Anyway, here's Charmeleon. It's dead. Anyways. <laughs> that's Bicycle Road. <laughs> ah, crash and burn! Much easier than Generation 1's. So it's Generation 1 Cycling Road was a freaking... Ev there are people everywhere! Second road uphill starts here! Though, now we have fly, we can just use that. Let's get off the- I keep forgetting we have this. Anyway, let's go and battle some Pokémon. You're looking for a Pokémon! You have to look in tall grass! Wow. You know, I thought this would be, like, halfway through the game, and then I realized, wait, how small Johto is, like, uh, Kanto is compared to Johto. Like, it is night and day. Anyway, here's a Thunderbolt for the, du the duo! Hey, you can catch two duos here? You cannot! I can't get Murkrow, though. And Muck. Weird. Pokemon choice, but okay, then. Anyway, there's Dodrio. I like the Dodrio line. Pretty surprisingly good in Generation 1. Though, I'm not gonna use it myself. Work your Boris. I eat! Okay. Cycling Road is a quick shortcut to sell it on! I'd say it's more of a long shortcut because you're going uphill. Burkira Bob wants to battle. Burkira Bob set out Noctowl. Oh, I'm sorry, man. Your Pokemon just got fried. Whew! Anyone else just, just. I'm just gonna do this for real quick, because why not? Because I want EXP. Anyway, there we are. Let's switch you down. Move Luisa in front. Jerry will have his time in the spotlight in about, like, five minutes. Anyways. Welcome to Fuchsia City! Yeah, this is going a lot faster than I thought it would. Well, it would. Anyway, let's cut down this tree. Go up here. The Safari Zone is closed. It's sad, considering it's Fuchsia's main attraction. Aw, Safari Zone. I really like Safari Zone in Generation 1. Had a purpose, unlike most of the Safari Zones. Safari Zone's warden Grant's daughter lives in the town. And when I mean by a purpose, I mean like giving surf. I was hoping to buy some Safari Zone souvenirs, but it's closed. Welcome, how may I help you? Let's see what they have. 
They have full heals, which is good. Also some Ultra Balls. I already have enough of those, though. Might buy some full heals. Let's see. Actually, you know I, I probably should buy some full heals, because I know it's coming up. <coughs> Poison! Uh, but, uh... Huh. All the cages are broken out of. It seems like, uh... Well, anyway, here's a, here's a tree. But yeah, these used to have you an enclosure. Also, you can get a Pokemon if you swim through that water. This magic carpet, very rarely a Gyarados. If you use a, if you use the fish, the good rod. Koga's daughter succeeded him as the gym leader after he joined the Elite Four. I probably should have done a deeper voice for his, for him. The warden is traveling abroad. Therefore, this far zone is closed. Aw. I like the safari zone. I wish we could visit the safari zone in this game, but eh. Can't do this. Can't do it. I guess I really, like I said before, I like the safari zone in Pokemon games usually. It's one of my favorite areas. You know, I think it's only a Gen 1. Out of the Elite Four used to be the leader of the Fuchsia's gym. Yeah, so we met him. His name was Koga. Empty. Fuchsia City. Behold, it's Passion Pink. There's a notice here. Safari Zone office closed until further notice. As we saw. Over here, there's the, the exit, which we can use to go to... Actually, what is beyond that point? Oh. I see. It's Lavender Town. But, below there is good old... Uh... Where is it called? Uh, Cinnabar Islands. So that's next. I'm guessing that's next. You know, it is kind of, Again, I'm gonna say it again. It is kind of odd how fast the series is going after... How long Johto took. Safari Zone Warden's home. My grandpa is, in, is the Safari Warden! At least, he was. He decided to go on a vacation and took off overseas all by himself. He could run in the Safari Zone just like that. Wow, that's... Just kind of dipped. <laughs> I'm guessing you can probably somehow get the Safari Zone back up and running in this game. Actually, probably not because they closed the entrance down. Anywho, over here is Kisha City Pokemon Gym. Leader Jan Janine. The poisonous ninja master. That's different for Koga. Anyway, let's go in this house before we close the episode down. My grandpa's at my brother Bill's house. Bills on Cerulean Cat. Keep. Wait, what? Oh, is that my brother Bills? Brother Bills on Cerulean Cape. My gr oh, it's Bill's sister. Or I saw these po weird po slow Pokemon on Cycling Road. That might be Slugma. And over here is the Pokemon Center, which you will be promptly using. I got quite a shock at the gym. There were all these girls who looked identical. Probably sh like Shadow Clones. Hey, you have a brand new kind of Pokedex? Did Professor Oak get that to you? No, Professor Elm did. Actually, no, wait. No, it was Professor Oak. I'm, I'm wrong. I'm J9. Hocus Pocus, poof! See? I look just like her now. And let's heal up the Pokemon Center. And let's also store some items because I just realized our, our bag is probably full. Burnt Berry. Do, 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 do. Max Elixir. Do some of these Max Revives because you really don't need them. Elixirs. We don't need these either. Store the berry. Get off. Get off my phone, Liz. Anywho, next time on Let's Play Pokemon Crystal, we'll take on Janine, and, well, move on forward at the game. Wow, we're almost done. <laughs> we're almost done with Kanto, thinking about it. We've done four out of eight. Actually, wait, no. Five out of eight. 
Yeah, no, we did 5 out of 8. I'm being dumb again. Nope, 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 4. Definitely 4. Because Brock... Okay, I'm just gonna end the essay here. Bye!